Hello, this is Artifacts of Mars, and I'm doing a video response to Wild Bill, and I'm going to say right up front, Bill, you're sounding mighty liberal right uh, in your video. So, let's get started. First of all, I viewed the cell phone video. Finnegan was not trying to commit suicide by cop. Well, he was at the initial tra traffic stop, Finnegan was trying to yell at the cops and never approached the truck. They never got anywhere near the truck. He was uh, telling them that, okay, you got your choice. You can put a bullet in me now but I'm going to head for the sheriff's office. That's basically the type of thing you're saying. You wasn't trying to commit suicide by cop at all. So that is a lie. You are a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. By Wild Bill for America. The second thing is there wasn't any high speed chase. I didn't see any vehicle chasing uh, theirs to the next stop. That is bullshit. So he goes off the road and a cop gets in the way of his truck and gets hit. That is tragic, but uh, I can't do anything about that. But before he ever goes off the road, while they're still approaching the uh, kill stop, as Lavoy Finnegan's widow calls it. What happens is they start firing on the truck before they ever, they're still in motion. So this idea that Finnegan was uh, threatening them, that is a lie. I'm sorry, Bill, you are a liar. And I'm Your nose is growing longer, Pinocchio. Calling you out. That's number two. Then, uh, they stop. They're firing at the truck, so he gets out, apparently, to try to protect his family, as any father would. And they gun him down. He did not try to shoot at anybody. I never saw any guns at all on their part. In fact, I never saw any guns at all because the cops were too cowardly to go anywhere near the vehicle to confront him. They could have gone up to him and say, okay, you're under arrest, Buster. We're putting the cuffs on you. But no, they're far away from the vehicle. So that is a, another lie by Wild Bill for America. You are a liar, 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 pants on fire. He was not menacing them. He was trying to get away from the truck because he didn't want his family to be endangered. It didn't work. Because cops shot him. The cops gunned him right down. Now, supposedly, uh, he took a bullet in his side and he reached down to try to cover the wound, and that's when they shot him again. That I can't tell. After that, the people in the car tried to get out to help him, because he was down on the ground, and no one was helping him, and the cops shot at him. So Wild Bill told yet another lie on that. You are a liar, 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 pants on fire. They shot at him. They shot at them to keep him in the car, to keep him from helping Lavoy Finnicum. That by itself is a crime. That is attempted murder. Murderers, murderers, murderers. Go to jail. That is a crime. And they kept shooting at him and shooting at him. They shot at women and children after he was down. Repeat. After he was down. Repeat. After he was down. Repeat. After he was down. And then they never rendered assistance. 
but never rendered first aid to them, that is a crime. They are required, and you know it, to render assistance. Go to jail. You know that. They did not. And they fired at people who are trying to give him assistance. That is a crime, Wild Bill. That is a crime, 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 crime. These are criminals. I'm tired of it. Okay, so next thing. And it goes on. They uh, were yelling out the window, pleading with the cops, please stop shooting at us. They weren't using guns. The cops were. The cops just kept firing at him. This is long after he was down on the ground. And then, to make it worse, <coughs> sorry, I'm yelling myself hoarse. To make it worse, they used poison gas on him. Some kind of poison gas, probably tear gas. Tear gas is known in NBC Warfare as uh, I believe an incapacitating agent, or possibly a harassing agent, I'm not sure which. But it's poison gas nonetheless. And they gassed them on top of that. They weren't resisting. They were pleading for the cops to stop. And those filthy cowards never went anywhere near the car. Uh... Well, Wild Bill, I don't know what's happened to you, but you've gone completely off the mark here. This was a case of cold-blooded murder, as far as I'm concerned. And I wish we had a way to get these cops rounded up and put in prison while they await a fair trial. All of them. Go to jail. I wish we had a way to do it. It's so frustrating. You're in danger, folks. I thought this guy was on our side, but I'm having second thoughts on that. I don't know who is on our side anymore. You have communists in the streets trying to stop a man who can, is lawfully trying to get elected president and trying to stop him. That's what they do in banana republics. I don't want to get off track, but it's the same people. Uh, gee, Bill, if you actually watch the cell phone video, anybody actually watches the cell phone video and studies it knows that this was cold-blooded murder and that they're trying to murder people in the car. They're firing at him. They stopped him. They shot at him to try to keep him from helping Lavoie Finnegan when he was down in the sto snow. No excuse for that. They are guilty of attempted murder, and every one of them <coughs> should be in the Iron Bar Motel awaiting trial for first-degree murder, as well as dozens and dozens of attempts, attempted murder, counts of attempted murder. They should be in the Iron Bar Motel awaiting trial, every single damn last one of them. That's the way I see it. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Have a nice day.